So you've bought the cheapest Bamboo Lab printer without the AMS and now you want to do single layer text printing. To do this you need to separate out the single layer of text, usually 0.2 mm high. Print that in one color. Change the filament to another color, a darker color is always easiest to change to. Then print the remaining model, minus the text. For this example, we are going to look at a very basic hot end case I designed specifically for single layer text printing. If we zoom in, turn off the text layer, we can see there is a cavity where the text was, you do not want to try to print the other color over the text or you'll end up with two layers trying to occupy the same space. Select the layer height you want, 0.20mm standard with a 0.4 nozzle is what I would normally use. Since we don't have the AMS, we can turn off the prime tower, we will be printing one color at a time. For this example, I want to print just the 0.6 nozzle case, which is this case. Since there are two cases on this build plate, I am going to turn off the case I don't want to print. Take the ticks out of the boxes for the 0.8 nozzle. Now turn off the green case filaments and just leave the white text. Click slice plate and you will see there is just a single layer of the white text and the logo. Click print plate to send this to the printer, make sure you have the correct color filament already loaded. I don't need to do the bed leveling or flow dynamics calibration on this print. Now let's go and watch the printer. The printer will do its usual activities. Take note that it finds the bed height in the middle of the build plate, that's the area to avoid placing your print. When the print is finished, unload the filament and reload the new color. I set up a spool next to my printer to make it easier, but you can just use the single spool holder if you like. Now we have to purge the old filament out and the easiest way to do this is to keep pressing retry until the new color is purged completely through. Then click done and wait for the load process to finish. Go back to Bamboo Studio and deselect the text print and select the two bodies of the case to print. The most important thing is to check there is an empty space where the text is that you printed previously. Press print plate and send that to the printer. The printer will go through its routine again and when it's ready it will start printing the rest of the case. I have sped this up so you can see the whole process without having to wait 30 minutes. So there we have a simple print in place case for the hot ends. Let's have a look at the print quality. You will get some imperfections, as you can see in the logo here. But this text is good enough for its basic purpose. Something that will help with small text is a finer nozzle, I recently purchased a 0.2mm nozzle, don't forget to tell the printer what size nozzle you are using. Now let's look at making something within Bamboo Studio, a coaster is something simple. Generate a cylinder 50mm in diameter and make it 3mm thick. On the coaster we want to write our name, click on the object then on the text tool. Input text will be your name, thickness will be zero, we don't want it to stick above the coaster, but change the embedded depth to a single layer, if we were printing in 0.2mm layers we would make it 0.2mm embedded. 
At this stage there are a few things wrong with this model, the text is on the top surface and the coaster is one combined object. While we can change each object's color, we can't print these individually. Let's fix the first problem, click on the coaster and then find the rotate tool. We want to flip it over in the green direction. So go up to the top and enter 180 in the Y box. Now the text is on the bottom first layer. Now split the model into separate objects. Now we can select just the text and send that to the printer. When the text is finished, we can change the filament to a different color and send the remaining portion to be printed. Once again we check to make sure the second color doesn't print over where the existing text currently resides. Move the print out of the middle because that is where the printer checks the bed height. Since we are printing one color at a time we can turn the print tower off. Something else worth checking is the Z-hop height. This is the distance that the printer lifts up when printing. You should set this to 0.4 millimeters. I hope this instruction helps. The hot end model is available on Maker World if you want to have a closer look at the files shown in this video.